Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira, and today we are once again playing Red Dead Redemption 2. And we we have a mission to do. We, we have to go and, you know, talk with our friend here. Although, although, should I go to my horse cargo? Can I can I put cargo on the horse that are stored on this horse? How do I store things on the horse? A is drink, B is back. Health cure. I want to transfer things to the horse. Can I not do that? Gun oil. Okay. Alright, never mind. I can't seem to put things on the horse. We need to go talk to this guy, to Pearson, right? What's up? We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. <laughs> we were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. Get away need from be, my we can horse. Eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough nothing. of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, okay. Here. You're gonna need something neat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Come along. Okay. <coughs> Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. All right. So, so we get to hunt some. Uh, Sort of salted awful. All right, that sounds ridiculous. Hey, let's catch up. up I'm okay. Apart from this hand, stupid mistake. Still bad. It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll get something. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Okay. <sighs> Been a wild few days, all right. That right north from Blackwater. Getting stuck in this storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, here told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. I like all these cutscenes. I feel like they're they're just so epic riding through the snow. Oh yeah, I need to ride my horse through some water to clean it up. Maybe this is our chance.
There we go. You should be clean now. Right, let's go. If we go here to our player, we can see our stats. Ah, uh, damn. Our <laughs> uh, okay. Clean your horse by riding it through water. So our horse is still dirty, but this guy's riding off without us, so... There's some patches of grass here. This is good. Means that the rabbits can find something to eat. Let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. The wind's died down too. That's good. Oop, no wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. Oh, watch it. <clears throat> Alright, I need to take horse weapons. I need my bow. Has deer been here recently? How can you tell? Let's walk it for me. Alright. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. I think so. Yeah, right Maybe here. Not. Focus. Eagle eyes. Okay. Press L and R. Okay. Eagle eyes, huh? Not eagle vision. Assassins, we are not. But I see the tracks. They're they're right here. There. Let's see if I can do this without the eagle eyes. I, I, I know how to activate eagle eyes. I, I already read the little tutorial thingy here. Alright, we got some we got the tracks heading this way. Uh oh. Did they disappear on me? No, because they're on top of the snow now. Right. right here. Okay, so they're back into some deep snow. Oop! There's a deer. Hey there, Mr. Deer. Wait, look! I see it. There they are. Are you ready with that bow? Aim for their head or neck. We want a good, clean kill. You can pull back quite hard. You'll feel when it's too much. Quick, before they move. Ooh! Try for another. They may raise their head before fleeing. They may. All right. Okay. Can I recover my arrow here? It's flashing, so I'm going to guess that's a yes. Okay. Now. Where are we going next? Do we have any more tracks anywhere? Where does it want me to go? Oh, it does want me to go across the river. Alright. How's that water feel, man? Oh, I see. Aha. Uh -huh. Teeny tiny tracks. Are 
There we are. Can I... Can I get two of these things with Deadeye? Can I use Deadeye? Anyway, let's do information about it. I can. Uh-oh. Sure, your hands okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Hmm. Whistle for my horse. Okay. So spawn as long as in range, continue to bond, increase the distance. Okay, so we can call for our horse, and if we're close, it'll come running. And if we bond with it, it'll Love us more and come running from further distances. Awesome. So I suppose it's a good thing that I uh, only got one of these deer. I shouldn't have gone for both of them, but... Alright, Charles, let's go. Where are you? Animal can be dropped off to Pearson and to contribute to gang supplies. Okay. Nice work, Arthur. Should so we can't just butcher him in the field. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is no. a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding the old Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. <laughs> the girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with your Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cole, and Dutch go way back. Ooh, 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 ooh. Good way. A proper blood feud. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Okay. Let's try not to mess with that bear too much, then. 
I feel like we shouldn't be following him there, Charles. Cut up here, off the trail. Spook your horses. Hold L to calm the horse. Okay. Uh oh. Charles, you're getting away from me. Hold up. I'm sure that bear can smell us. We need to be careful here. never talked that much, you me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. How long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. Who? Taught me to read. John, too. Taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill. The Count. Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Horse named the Count. That's awesome. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys. All right, horse, park yourself. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the boat properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Hmm. Just drop it down in here. What a surprise. I find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now, shoot, <laughs> get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. Bye, see, you Uncle. Got just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Maybe rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one if you dumped on the floor there. Okay. We turn this into a mini game now. No. Okay. That's sort of gruesome, Rockstar. Huh. 
Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're uh -huh. looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, uh, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. <laughs> yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. Yes, it has. <coughs> hmm. A few days later. We have unlocked the Master Hunter Challenge. Okay. What is that? It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans. And Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but... Look at you. I was always <laughs> ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? The weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Okay. All right, we're moving out. Follow me. Master Hunter complete. Now, the question is... A double tap, A to move. Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're going to pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles? You'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yeah, <laughs> Nope. Yes, boss. Good. Now, come on. Let's ride!
love this music. We definitely are getting a little bit of our uh, spring thaw here. But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I Pinkert say tons. we go back. And that's the end of it. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Hey, there's... It's gotta be Bill over there. <laughs> Is Bill there? Yeah. You wanna head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Whoa! Check on Bill. Hold! Yeah. How we doing, Bill? How you getting on? Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Okay. Pick up the spool. Connect the wire to the detonator. Okay. Who knew that crazy old Bill was the one who was dealing with the explosives? That doesn't seem smart to me. What's taking so long? Josh, I'm here. Connect the wire. Okay. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. All right, Bill. Good luck to you, man. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. I'm going towards the What's rear car. On? What's this? Compass. Oh. Expand. Regular. It's all fine. Huh? Okay. Tasks. On the log. Okay. Challenges. Okay. Cool. We'll find out. Everything okay? Oh, that's the whistle. I think so. Okay. Cover your faces. Train should be here. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Gotta be 
kidding me? Where did you find that moron? You said it was fine. It's my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Huh. Okay. So we need to jump onto the train. This seems like a rather bad idea, guys. But let's go. Hey, Lenny. Pull me up. Grab yeah, Lenny. I've got you. Now stop yelling. Papa, help me. Pull. Okay. Quick time actions. Got it. Now, let's go slow this thing down. Where's Javier? Javier sort of fell. Uh oh. I want to. I want to do it quiet, like I'm going. Wow, that was. <laughs> that was all. Oh, okay. Oh. oh. Oh, there's another one of them. You all right? Yeah. Okay. What the hell cool. is Bill doing? He had long enough to set that charge. Well, I hooked up the wire, but we won't mention that. Yeah, don't mention that. Have to stop this train. <gasps> oh, don't, don't fall off, please. Pick up guard. Oh, I don't want to pick up the guard. Never mind. So we gotta loot this guy. Cool. Keep going. Loot this guy. Should probably get my we pistol out. Yeah, we're going. Holy, come on. All right. You two. Time. We got it. I'm okay. Reload, Arthur. If we don't stop this train soon, the other boys will never catch us. I know, just stay calm. Shoot him, dude. Go. Didn't cover Arthur. That was like a headshot. It was not good. Oh, I think that's my guy. I probably shouldn't shoot him. Woo! That was a good shot. Not necessarily. Oh, you really shouldn't be running out in front of people like that. Good, good, kid. Where the hell are you? I don't know. We're gonna get out of this. Oh, I know we are. Take that. All right. There's still that guy up top. Don't forget about him. Oh no! Did I just shoot my guy? I think I did. I think I just shot Lenny. Sorry, Lenny. Interesting. Okay, I, I feel like this is somewhat luck.
Because <laughs> I was doing good. I was doing exactly what I was supposed to be doing here. Which is sort of a surprise, but okay. Oh, I got his hat. Go. Where'd my hat go? Okay. That was a good shot. Alright. Reload, Arthur. Alright, we need to move up. Over where? Am I wearing my bandana still? I really wish I had my hat. You two all right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. <sighs> Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Okay. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Place our dynamite, please. Seems good enough. Now, like the fuse. <laughs> Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellers. All right, come on. Just walk on out here. We don't want to kill you. My oh we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> Okay, we need to go to the private car. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Holy. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> cake, huh? You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's keen. Fine, brandy. Okay. What's in the desk drawers? Can get this open. Premium cigarettes. On. On. Okay. Get in there. What we got in here? Ah. 
a lockbox. That's how it's done. Is that, is that silver? Just a pile of papers. Oh no. I don't think so. Here, make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. I think I got them. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. Okay. So cigars. There's nothing really in there. Inspect the letter. Hey, what's going on? No, in inspect the letter, please. Let's hurry this along now. Missed card payment of two thousand dollars. Initial phase of the explorer. It's agreed in contract between the Cornwall Kerosene and Tar and the Lidron Oil Development Company. Did in. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah, uh huh. What's in here? Let's grab some fine brandy. I'm coming, Dutch. I'm coming. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah. Uh, get it out of here. What about them? Huh. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah. Hmm. Deal with the guards. So. Okay. Get on the train. Quick. All of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul. I swear. You better not. Sir, quick. Is there anything in here? So I need to let. I can't. Chocolate bar. Oh. Okay, anything in this bookcase? No, I don't see anything in there. Okay. <laughs> we have a harp and stuff? What is this? Alright. I don't think I can do anything with that. Oh! What can I take? Huh. Miracle tonic. Cool. Good. Oh, there's something else over here. Loot. Oh, I see. I see. Hey there. Alright, so let's just make our way to the front here. How do we do this? Need to go over here somewhere into the engine and then start train and then what do I just jump off hmm okay that is awesome. So are we going to move up to the camp? Or are we going to have to trek all the way back there? Oh, for Lord's sake! Put that book away and go help! Oh. Put that book away and go help. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. 
I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> All right. On the trail again. The covered wagons. Getting out of the snow. Lenny! Micah! Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. <laughs> So, I believe that uh, this episode has been quite long already, so I think, well, there's no action. We are going to break right here. And next time when we return, we will follow this caravan. We will go to Horseshoe Valley, I believe it is, and we will find a place we can set up camp. So, thank you all so much for watching. My name's Zira. And this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network, bringing you Red Dead Redemption 2. Have yourselves a wonderful night, everybody.